I don't care. I don't I don't care about what other people got going on. I don't care about what other women have going on in their life, what headaches they got to deal with. That That's not my place. That's not my business. And that's not my concern. Like, I really don't care for it at all whatsoever. So, um, but... What you call it? I like a story was put out, and basically, it details how from teams whoever put it out. I don't, I don't care. It's detailing how you know I'm keeping. I kept my daughter, or the headline was like, oh, blinks or whoever baby mama, because I am not defined by is not landed them see their um kid on Christmas. So, when asked, they're not saying why or whatever the case is. First of all, this man hasn't spoken to my daughter in months. He didn't reach out for her birthday, Thanksgiving. I We haven't heard of that man having a concern about my daughter since, like, the beginning of sept- September. That's one. So, yeah, you're not supposed to pop. You're not going to just come around my family on holidays sweet you know i was hurt that i was hurt for my daughter that you can not even make the effort or set aside the time to go ahead and you know make her birthday special on your end her birthday is always going to be special because i take care of her and she's going to always have with or without him but that's not the point you feel me he likes to go on social media my daughter this my daughter that oh i want to be home so i can see my daughter don't even see his daughter. He don't pay no child support. He hasn't called in months. Like, after already going on a year and a half of not having no communication with my daughter at all. Because he completely, like, just cut off my daughter for no reason. Like, a four-year-old did something to him. Imagine that. Um, Yeah, it's just like... So, a story was put out and I just made it very clear. I was like, you know, he's not stable. He has no sense of stability. He... He's moving around. He has security. He's not safe nowhere he's going. He's getting to altercations. He's going infested places with people with no masks. Like, come on now. Like, you're going to strip clubs. You're doing all this extra beefing with people. You haven't seen your daughter in months. You didn't even call on her birthday. You haven't done nothing right that you said you was going to do right on your end to... Be the father that my daughter deserves. That's just straight like that. No kid deserves a happy parent. And that's one. Like, he, he his life has been a complete mess since he's got, gotten out of jail. And y'all just don't know that. Because he's been off of social media. The boy done overdose. He's done the... Didn't matter, bro. That's the reason why I don't feel safe. Having him around my daughter and so he proves himself to be in the right place in life like come on now and i'm not bitter and i'm not wrong for that but what i'm not gonna do because i haven't said about him i haven't got on live and i haven't and i wasn't gonna say anything but what you're not gonna do is rep- like have your team the moment a story that comes out about you that is true you're a deadbeat bro you don't do nothing for your daughter your mother is so disgusted with you she spent the holidays with us all right Literally, his mom was just with us, okay? For Christmas Eve and Christmas. So let's not even go there. Um, Yeah, so that should tell you enough. I don't stop nobody from seeing their kid if they made the effort to and to do right. You feel me? I don't stop nobody on his family. His mom spends the, the holidays comfortable with us. But why is she the only one on that side bringing gifts? Even though it's like you can even send gifts with your mother. That you knew she was going to spend the holiday with us? Like, I'm not understanding. Not one gift. One. One. Bro. Uh, he couldn't even make a call. So that's... I'm not hearing nothing. Don't be having your team. The moment... The day, the day that a story breaks out... um, That your shit father, basically, for Christmas. And just overall. Don't we ever in your life... put Have your team or whoever that... Fa- Murphy, whoever is doing your go ahead and ever lie on me and say that I put my hands on you. Or I we got into an altercation on Christmas Eve. You weren't even here. You weren't present. You're never present. How did I see you? 
I did not see this man. I haven't seen this man since the beginning of September. So how did I get into altercation with you? Don't be like putting out like especially the light incorporated my daughter. The story incorporated my daughter just running into the street. Okay? Ain't no way is my daughter outside just running into the street. For her for someone that she calls her friend, she doesn't every time she sees him, she says friend. She don't even identify him as her dad. She says friend. So I doubt my daughter was so hurt and um heartbroken. That, that, that's not even a situation. Like, he wasn't even here. I don't know where this man be about his business or whatever the case is. I don't care. That boy can't do nothing about... Bro, let him try. Let him try because I've been... As I talk... Yeah, I talk a lot. But I haven't made this life hard at all. I haven't made this man's life hard. As a lot of other baby mothers would, or a lot of money in the industry that get pregnant by these rappers and like that. Like, get out of here. Don't be lying on my on my name. Don't don't even say my mom. First of all, he has communication with my mom. He talks to he talks to my mom. All right. So for you to like lie to make your story seem more believable and throw the baby in the story and throw my mom. My mom's never put hands on you. My mom's like you're lucky. My mom never smacked you. That's one. Like don't. Like it's I, I I just woke up not too long ago. I'm waking up. I'm getting called all these horrible. I don't at the end of the day, but it's just like it completely blindsided me because I know I haven't been mixy. I haven't been throwing myself out there on live or on my social media or whatever cases. I've been very inactive. At, to be quite honest with everybody, um, for a person for this person reason and that's just what it is. First of all, never travels anywhere without a mask. That's one. He acts like we're not in a whole pandemic. Meanwhile, that was his excuse for getting an early release. He's a liar. He's a narcissist. He's a hypocrite. Everything he says comes out. He always has a story to cover something else up that was said about him. It's just like... Like, I've been completely chilling. That's one thing. Like, no one, no one knows what's going on in my life. No one. I completely cut everybody out of my life. I cut everybody off. And for the the ones that are around, they're basically in, inactive, too. So, ain't no way anybody knows any of my personal on here. Because I refrained from it all. You feel me? I didn't want to wake up the day after Christmas and see a story that involves my mom and my daughter. That's a complete lie. Because he don't want nobody to know the truth. That he's a dad. Don't leave me completely out of it. Alright. That's. I don't. I don't even talk to you. I don't talk to you. I haven't seen you since September. I don't care to talk to you. If you're not making an effort. Or showing interest. Or just being genuine about wanting to be in the baby's life. Then I don't really need to talk to you. So. That's where I just take it for what it is. But stop using the baby as a pawn to clean up your image. Because you're a deadbeat. It's, yeah, it's, it's one thing. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I sit here and y'all yeah, eat up his on live. Like, Instagram, yes, it's entertaining. But, like, he's like the biggest capper, bro, ever. And... It's it's sad that it took him to snitch for y'all to like understand that. I don't talk about what he got going on. I don't talk about I don't even give man a hard time, bro. I don't talk about I don't talk about like just 
if you're not gonna do your job, leave us alone. Don't men like don't don't mention us. Like but you are. You are. So that's that. I personally never like I'm not with him. I don't have to put my hands on you and ain't no I'm not with him and he's gonna ever think he can ever get a, a argument or altercation or any of that out of me. You do that with not with me. I'm not gonna waste my time. Been there, done that. So I don't care, bro. I don't like that. Ironically, someone who you did, uh, someone who you did an interview with before, Lisa Evers from Fox or whatever, she's the one that put out the story that me and both went to a fight yesterday. That's because your team sent that story over to her. And she's not going to question it. Like, I that lawsuit, he got a whole going on with himself that I don't, yo, I, I am sincerely, I, sh I should sincerely be the least of his worries that he has to mention me. My hair's so long, my hair's getting long, right? No, it's, it's simple. Don't tell a, a white fake story, fake news to cover up the truth. Shit, that, that's it. You missed out on the holidays like you did every other year. You missed out on time like you did every other time. Like, I'm just over it. Like, I don't even want to sit here and talk about how much that he is anymore. That's why I stopped going live. That's why I stopped posting. That's why I don't do, I've been very, like, chill i've been tranquila i've been like calm so like for me to wake up the day after christmas the holidays being around family to hear some his mom spent the spent christmas eve and christmas with us like i doubt any of that is taking place like in front of your mom and she's okay with it especially like no he didn't buy the baby no presents he didn't he could have sent them with his mom He's not, he's not sending, he didn't send nothing with his mom. His mom came with her presents. She made it very clear. These are things she bought her daughter. I mean, her granddaughter. These are her presents from, from her to her granddaughter. She didn't say, oh, this is from your dad or to my daughter. She didn't say, oh, Danny sent this for her. Nothing. Okay. I'm bitter, but his mom spent the holidays with us. His mom is treated, like, she gets treated like family nonetheless. Or whether, despite me not being with her son, that's my daughter's grandmother. Yeah, we had our differences, but she she's the only one that actually makes an effort. And wants to be in the baby's life. So I'm not going to her and tell her she can't spend a holiday. I'm not going to treat her no different because she doesn't treat my daughter no different. Despite the fact that her son treats his own daughter differently. You know, I'm not... Capper, okay. I'm just so tired because I haven't, I haven't said anything about. I just been letting the situation be because I was just like, I'm gonna be on here saying like my personal life for. Why am I gonna give y'all anything to feed off of? At the end of the day, y'all run. I run with and that's not my problem you know my problem is what i give y'all to run off with you feel me i'm not gonna give y'all anything to run off with but what i am gonna do this i'll make since i'm in the holiday spirit and whatnot i'll make the exception instead of straight though you're a bum you don't take care of your kid you're a capper and stop lying that's it you don't do i don't ask you my family doesn't ask you for shit. bare minimum. Check up on your daughter, see what she needs, and make time. 
That's it. I don't, I'm not expecting him to dev- devote all his time to his daughter. I know what kind of life he has to have now. Like, I, I'll be crazy to like ex- expect that. But there's men who do it and go above and beyond for their kids. So why can't he? Like, and I thought my daughter is like, no, I can't. This is. Like sincerely, I didn't I I didn't even want to get up and do this, but I was not going to let people DM me or send me this little fake story and not clear it up. I haven't put my hands on this man. I did, haven't seen him in months. That is not a true not true. He didn't even make the effort to even call his daughter on Christmas, let alone show up to wherever we were celebrating for that altercation that just happened. Um he completely made that up and pulled it out of Mm, I, yeah, I, I, I see the little bitter word being thrown out there from men. So, like, that's no shocker. But bitter in what way? He could have, had he done what he was supposed to do, maybe he could have had his daughter with him for Christmas or Christmas Eve. One of those days, there's two days that you can celebrate. Like, I, for me to even, like, I'm not... He didn't care. He didn't make the initiative. He don't. He still don't care. So that story is completely fake. It's fictional, just like his life. Okay, so you will be really dumb to go ahead and really pay him mind. Okay, don't pay that man mind because he's not right in the head. He's not right in life. No matter how much money he has. Um, I, I, I could just go on. He will say whatever to keep himself in, in the limelight or just his 15 minutes or whatever it is. And he don't care who he involves and who he throws in. People that he's good with, people that he's not good with. He don't care. Like, you can be a casualty by four with, with him. Obviously, look at the... The people that used to hang out with him, where are they? Like, yes. Happy, Merry Christmas. I'm just completely over it. I got stuff to tend to, and it's just like, I, what I'm not going to do, though, don't ever in your life fix your lips to go ahead and have tell your story, tell your team or whoever you're going to tell to put out some story like that. Don't do that.